Hello, my beautiful Gemini dragons. Welcome to your May bonus. Okay, so uh, you guys got a bonus. So yay. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the cards have for you. So as you can see, they're already starting to come out. Oh, I'm not going to take all of those, but I will take those three. So let's see whoa, what's happening for you guys in May. Um, oh, okay, guys, oh, I did this for the last one too. And I'm just like, seriously, not, not to that extent. It was with this deck that the last reading I did, they decided to come out like in chunks. Okay. One more. So let's see what's going on. So first of all, we have these two cards that came out way over here. First of all, did you guys like my new table? Yeah, so it's a little bit um, deeper. So I'm very excited that I have a little bit more room and cards won't fall off, hopefully, now. And um, so I don't have to spend a lot of time going and grabbing those. So what we have here is we have, yeah, we have the wheel of uh, the tree of life and the eight of coins. You're working really hard to close out a chapter of your life. You're really hard working, trying to move on, like really trying to move on from this. Okay. So you, um, you're, you, yeah, like I just like, cause this is out here and it's, you sort of feel like you're going back and forth. Like, it's like, what the heck? I just want to move on. I just want to get away from this. I just want to enjoy my life. Okay. So where do we start? Let me just move these over. I'm going to move that one down. Let's take these three together. So these are 10 of cups in reverse, three of wands in reverse, and the nine of swords. Yeah, you have something in your energy that is trying to... Uh, it's just obstacles, right? Trying to take away your happiness. Um, yeah, like this is obstacles, obstacles, and the nine of swords, stress and nightmares, right? Sleeplessness, worry, fear. Like you have somebody and you know what? It's funny because I see this emperor, like I just like when that flipped up, I was like, I got this very heavy energy from it. I know it's not in reverse, but it doesn't have to be. It just sort of threw me back. I'm like, mm, cause I'm like getting a little bit teary, like sort of, um, just afraid, right? Just so afraid. Yeah. Look at this. You are trying so hard to get a new beginning from this and it's stuck and you're just like, what the F? <laughs> right. I don't want to get like, I don't want to get like, I don't know, sidebarred. I'm already in the dumps with YouTube, so, because I had to reduce my videos. So, hey, guys, like and subscribe, okay? Thank you. <laughs> gem to gem. Come on, guys. So, um, wow, yeah, you're trying so hard to get away from it. You have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. It's like, it's just disappointments. And I feel like somebody is trying to use your own smarts against you, right? Like somebody knows how smart you are and they're trying to flip you upside down. Like they're trying to get you flipped. Just if you're a masculine watching this, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's just that queen energy. Um, yeah. And this, you just really like you, you're having a hard time relaxing, right? You just need, like, you're exercising caution in everything you do. It's also about being sad, right? Yeah. And it's just like, look, this emperor is just sitting there, you know? So you have your two of swords in reverse again. So again, you're, it's, you're just, you just don't have any control over what's happening. Okay. So down here, we have the page of wands, the nine of coins, and the queen of wands. I think that you have somebody in your energy. There is an important, so th this page of wands, okay? There is an important message coming and it's positive, okay? It's going to be like a young energy and it's going to be creative and trying new things. Um, this is also about positive movement forward, okay? Um, your nine of coins, 
And this again, so guys, you have so much positivity happening for you. Like I'm just, I'm starting to get teary eyed again. I'm sorry, but this is in a different way. I can't help it. Okay. Energy does this to me. And I just, this is why I can't do them on camera because all you'd see is me crying with a red nose half the time or goosebumps or laughing. So, um, this again, very positive. This is one of the most positive cards in the deck. Okay, this is about your hard work paying off. This is about you financially getting what you deserve. Okay, um, yeah, that's, it's it's very good. Okay, this is about still needing to plan, but you are going to be rewarded. Okay, now this Queen of Wands is here, and I feel like you just need to stick with being warm, generous, loving, intelligent. Right? Don't let them see whoever this is. You're you upside down. Don't let them see you being turned upside down on your head. Okay. Now, is there any other cards for Gemini? Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, just a second. I just need to take a breath because this is like, I'm sorry. I need to cry again. What is going on with you guys? This is like, I, I can't determine if this emperor, so it would be a fire sign, maybe an Aries. Um, I don't know if this is this person or if this is what you have to be you have to go in and you have to um be intellectual through this you need to be political okay you need to um you know be stubborn and strong and and that's exactly right this queen of wands like you, this fire energy because your air somebody's trying to to snuff you out Right. And I don't mean that like they're, well, I hope not that they're trying. Well, somebody's definitely trying to play a bad game. Okay. Let's see. Any clarification, please, for Gemini? <sighs> yeah. In the past, you were, um, yeah, you, you were just like this nurturing uh, person. Because this Queen of Coins came out here. I don't know if I'm going to take those. I don't know how many cards came out. Two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So, in this past, okay, so the stuckness, okay, is you've been sitting there trying to be poised. You've been sitting there trying to take care of everything, trying to, um, like, I think that you understand and respect everything, but um, you, you haven't had any control over this and you've seen the truth. Like, I think that at first that you thought that this was not what it was. Yeah, temperance. So you've seen the truth and things have had to balance out. They've had to take time to balance out. King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So there's some emotional stuff here that happens when the Ace of Cups goes in reverse. So this is, again, about a delay in love. Maybe you tried again and you hooked in with somebody who was a water sign because there's two cups here. But I think that it was just sort of like a, an illusion, right? I think that it really wasn't, um, you know, what it was. And I think that you might have gotten sort of pulled off a little bit. And so down here with all of this positiveness, look, you have your 10 of wands in reverse. This is amazing. This is a bit of burden being lifted. Okay. Too many responsibilities. The load is shifted. Okay. And this is absolutely amazing. The pressure and stress are reduced. Okay. So, um, and just make sure that you're not taking on too much responsibility. And here you have your five of swords. Okay. You have been fighting and fighting and um, you've been pulled into too many directions, but I think that that's going to be pulled apart and lifted away. So I think that that's um, a very positive um, sign. It's going to come out that you've been overburdened. I'm going into the love reading. I don't know what the heck. I don't know. 
Um, we'll see because you know what? Sometimes it isn't about you with somebody externally. Sometimes it's about you within yourself. So let's see. It could have nothing to do with this. So hang tight. Let's see what we get. So Gemini, love and May. Let's see. Ooh. There's two in the forward thing. Hmm. Let's see. Usually four is enough. Surprise one more didn't come out there. Oftentimes I'm proofing her. So, girl talking wedding rings. Hmm. I think you're going to be finding some sort of a very good connection, girl talk. Um, and it's fun. So, this is about being happily single. But what I hear is that you're going to have the most, um, I, I think that the most fulfilling type of relationship that you're going to have right now is probably with a, another sort of feminine, somebody who's quite feminine and, um, like with girl talk. Yeah. Look at this. So hammer. So you're going to be rebuilding after all this sabotage and you're going to be making healthy choices and love and life, right? So self love, self care, like you're going to start to be happier. You're going to be moving towards that. Okay, guys, like it's, it's happening. It really is. Um, I know that right now, depending on where you are in this, you might not even believe me and that's fine, but go back and listen again to what I said now that you know what the outcome is. Okay. It, it is going to be positive. You are going to be getting beyond this. You are right. So I, I think that you're going to be finding I think you're going to be finding happiness. And it's funny with girl talk and wedding rings. This is about happily being single. But I have to tell you, and this is not for everybody, so don't poo-poo me, okay? But with girl talk, um, what I heard is that you might actually um, find romance um, within a friendship that you have. And it might surprise you, okay? So, um, my beautiful Geminis, this is your reading. So... That's it. So please do like and subscribe and I will see you in your June readings. Bye guys.